Question 10. The diagram shows the graph y equals f of x. The point Q is a horizontal point of inflection. Let a of x equal the integral from 0 to x of f of t dt. How many points of inflection does the graph y equals a of x have? Let's reframe the question so we are not making direct reference to the integral here. In other words, let's make it in terms of f of x and f dash of x rather than f of x and the integral of f of x. The diagram shows the graph y equals f dash of x. The point Q is a horizontal point of inflection. How many points of inflection does the graph y equals f of x have? As a side note, f of x is a primitive of f dash of x. We differentiate f of x to get f dash of x. But if we're given f dash of x, we integrate f dash of x to get back to f of x. Going back to the graph of y equals f dash of x, the y values represent the gradient of the tangent at the corresponding x values on the graph y equals f of x. So this point here, this point here, this point here, this point here, there's four x-intercepts, they represent stationary points on the curve y equals f of x, and there are four of them. But we're interested in the points of inflection. Now, points of inflection mark a change in concavity. So if we consider the graph of y equals f of x, an inflection point will mark a change from either concave up to concave down or concave down to concave up. This means that the value of the second derivative changes sign on either side of the point of inflection, but it also means that the first derivative must stay the same sign on either side of the point of inflection. I've sketched a part of y equals f of x here which corresponds to this stationary point here on the curve y equals f dash of x. Now the y value is negative, which means the gradient of the tangent at the corresponding x value on y equals f of x is negative. In fact, it's most negative here. But if we move away from this point here, we can see that the y value on y equals f dash of x approaches zero as we move away from this point here. But it's negative on either side regardless. So the sine of f dash of x is negative on either side. So this point here corresponds to a point of inflection on the curve y equals f of x. Now point Q is a bit of a distractor. If we look at point Q, the y value to the left of point Q is negative, but the y value to the right of point Q is positive. So this can't be a point of inflection on the curve y equals f of x. Now for similar reasons to what I explained here, this point here corresponds to an inflection point on the curve y equals f of x and also this point here. Therefore, there are three points of inflection on the curve y equals f of x. If we go back to the wording of the original question, how many points of inflection does the graph y equals a of x have? The correct answer is three.